welcome back to today's video. I'm excited to have you here today. For those of you who are new, I am Ellie Brown from Uptown with Ellie Brown. We are gonna be talking about all things spring slash summer shoes. For those of you who don't know, I will buy more shoes than I would possibly ever wear. It's it's a it's a bad it's a bad thing, I know. I I honestly and genuinely think that shoes can dramatically change your outfit. It can dramatically change um, your look. But today we're gonna to be talking about spring shoes, some of my favorite purchases, some closet staples. Not all of these are closet staples, but there are a few here that I would highly recommend for a closet staple that are items that you could have year in, and year out, year after year that you can wear during the spring slash summer. Let's just jump in into today's video and let's talk about all things shoes, shall we? Okay, all things shoes. Now, again, these are not all closet staples, meaning these are not items that you must have. Technically, you don't need to have anything. You know, look at your closet, look at your wardrobe, what makes sense for you, what doesn't make sense for you. So evaluate your lifestyle, your closet, what you have, what you want to achieve with your closet, and then go from there. These are just simply my suggestions and things that I personally like and that I would recommend. So first thing, because I have these in my hand, I've kind of talked about these on, on my Instagram stories if you follow along over there, but these are just a classic white pair of sneakers. I just think you get more of a classic chic look with just a pair of all white sneakers. This is from Shoeology and this is several years old. I'm, I'm running these to the ground. I specifically love these because again, these are low, pro low profile. So these come below the, um, the ankle and they're just slimming. They look great, very, very versatile. These would be a closet staple that I would recommend. Something all white. You can have a little bit of color and a little bit of print or design, not anything too much, just because I think you may lose the versatility of something that's just all white. These are a good shoe to have. I've worn these so many times, so many different ways. They're a great, great shoe to have. Okay, next up with a, another closet staple um, for spring, summer, and these actually are also great for all year round. These are my Stuart Weitzman nude, nude, nudist sandals. I have worn these bad boys so many times. You can choose whatever color you want, whether it's nude or black. I specifically love these because I love the shape of the, the toe over here on these and these on, they really just, they flatter the feet very, very well for me. I buy my designer shoes um, either on Poshmark, the Outnet, the Real Real. Um, I will get them discounted. I still like to buy them new or barely worn, maybe once or twice, but I like to buy my designer shoes um, at a discount. Saks off fifth, sometimes you can find things. Saks has their, their, their yearly sales. You can find some designer shoes on sale as well, but these are amazing. I love these. I worn these and my black ones all the time. So this is the only nude pair of sandal I have. And for me, that's just enough. It's just a classic sandal, nude sandal. It looks great on the feet. They're pretty comfortable for, you know, how high they are in the, the heel itself. These get you a nude pair of sandals. Again, it doesn't have to be these uh, these exact this exact brand, but just a nude pair, something that flatters your feet that you feel comfortable wearing. So yeah, these are good. These are great. Okay, these are not a. <laughs> I wouldn't say these are a staple. These these are just super fun. Something that's very in the moment. Um, but what's the name? It's it's Mac Mac. Uh, I believe it's Mac Mac. That's the, that's how you pronounce the brand name. They came out with you know the very very pricey bedazzled heels and that you know everybody is wearing them and they're beautiful. I tried I tried a pair on, on at Nordstrom a couple of months ago. It was before Christmas and I honestly did not love it. Not for the price. It wasn't didn't make sense for me to, to, to spend the money. So I have bought and returned several different pairs 
to kind of get that look but not without dropping a whole lot of money well i found these this is actually i found it um on katie's uh, katie mcfarlane over she i follow her over on instagram she shared a similar pair from this brand this is from cult of coquette maybe I'm horrible at pronouncing brand names. Anyways, back to the shoe. This is, so I found these. These are beautiful. I um, They have a gold version and then they have a silver version and they actually have several different other ones that look really, really pretty. But I want, I went ahead and went with the rose gold version just because it's something different. And these are really, I'm really surprised with the quality on this because again, I've tried several bedazzled, you know, sparkly shoes from Amazon. These are a little bit more, these are around 150. So when I saw these, I bought these and I'm really impressed with the quality here. You can see up close, the way the jewels, they they made it flat across the band, which I really, really appreciate because then it just, it feels a lot more sturdy. The quality is really well, like you don't, like it doesn't feel like, you know, when you try really cheap shoes and you're like, this is gonna just break off any second now. These don't feel like that at all. They do have this square shape over here, which, I um, was unsure of at the time, but these are really, really cute. I love how these look on the feet as well. Very, very pretty. I did go up half a size on this. I normally, I'm normally a six and a half. These are a size seven. So just FYI on these, if you're gonna get these, go up half a size. Um, but these are beautiful, beautiful, and the quality is really well made. Um, so I'm really happy I got these. Another staple, and I've talked about these before, is a good old Espadrille. Um, I have this color and I have a black pair in my closet. I would go for something neutral, like a cream or a black, something that you wear all the time, or maybe even a blue, if you really like blue, a dark navy. These are amazing to have in the spring and summer. You can wear them with shorts, wear them with a dress, wear them with jeans. These are absolutely amazing to have. I have had these for several, several years now, and I love these. They're comfortable. I uh, also shared a little hack on an, uh, in a blog post that I did last year with these. Um, you know, because when you're tying them and lacing them around the leg, sometimes this can come loose. Take this little, the, take the back part here, loop it in front of your, your ankle, and then wrap it around your feet. And the difference that it makes is absolutely amazing. They feel a lot more sturdier. They don't, they don't slip as much, but get yourself a good pair of espadrilles and you know, make sure you take care of them, especially if it's, if it's a light color like this, you don't wanna be walking in mud, but these are great to have. I love mine. Another staple to have, and this may not be necessarily you know, because as you can see, a lot of the colors I've shared are a lot of nude colors and creams and in light colors because, you know, they're just a lot more spring and summer. They're more versatile and can be worn with all the floral, all the colors, or even more of the basic and the neutral colors and, and outfits that you have. But get yourself a good pair of loafers. Um, I have wanted the Gucci ones for a really long time. So I bought these Sam Edelman's and now I don't even care to have the gucci ones because i just really love these these are the lorraine loafers i believe that's the name of them but these are just a classic black pair um great for running on the around with the kids but they're chic comfortable easy to wear with different outfits in different ways obviously they have them um, in different colors i went for a black classic just pair just again they're more versatile these are great i love these love sam edelman shoes overall these are a really good pair to have and again if you want something that maybe is just a little bit lighter um and maybe more spring you can get them in white i think they have them in different even floral prints and patterns but little loafers are great to have okay another shoe um and this is a new brand to me inez um they have they're made with their arches the way they make their shoes I wore this a couple of times and these are absolutely, probably the most com comfortable pair of heels that I have. But they, the way they make their, their insoles again is, is to make them more comfortable and have more of a support with their arch here. I don't know if you can see, but this is the arch support right here. But I think um, something great to have for the spring and the summer because a lot of the heels that I've shown were all really, really high. 
get a good mid-size slide sandal like this. These are great to have. Again, the arch support in this is absolutely amazing. And these are a little bit more higher end on the price point. But again, you're talking about the cost per wear. Like these are a classic sandals that I will have for years that I can wear over and over again. They're comfortable because of the arch support and the way they're designed and made. The leather, the quality is great. These shoes are also really, really good. But if you're looking for something that's not so high, they're like, okay, Ellie, those are really high heels. I can't wear those. I need something a little bit, you know, shorter in, in length. These are great, a great classic shoe to have, spring, summer shoe to have. Another on the go mom duty <laughs> sandal for spring, summer. Um, are these, um, these are like the dad inspired sandals, the dad sandals, the dad, the daddles, da dandles. No, I was gonna, try, I was trying to think of like a fun name. These, this is from Marianne Park. I have also already worn these several times since the weather has warmed up a bit, but these are amazing. I love these. I love the nude color. They go with anything and everything. And because they're flat, they're great for me, you know, wearing and running around after the kids. Um, I This is also a newer, new-ish brand to me. Um, they have some really pretty shoes and um, sandals as well, but these are perfect. I love how it just elevates the slide just a little bit with this buckle detail here. It it's just makes it a little bit more interesting and not just a regular slide. Very, very pretty. Love these. Um, also a very good brand. Last shoe. Are you ready for the last shoe? <laughs> We've gone through a lot of shoes here. I, again, I told you, I told you I was a shoe girl. I forewarned you, okay? I recently got these and this is not a, a staple like a lot of these are. These are just something fun. You know, platforms used to be big back in the day and then they kind of faded away and now they're coming back again. So I went with these. This is more of a linen material. These are the Born and Fifth um, from Dillard's. I believe she came out with a soft blue as well. I don't know if it's the same material or not, but I went with these linen platforms and these are beautiful. I love the knot detail, their platform. So they're super high. This is not gonna be for everybody and that's okay. They're not as uncomfortable as you think. These are a little bit heavy, but again, not uncomfortably, uh, not not uncomfortably heavy. These are really fun. A great uh, sandal, platform sandal. If you're looking to buy a platform sandal and to try some, they're a little bit heavy, but not like, again, not, not super bad, but these are really, really fun. These were a great, I just recently purchased these and I've worn it several times now. Um, these look really, really cute with, you know, those the spring and summer floral sundresses. These are really, really fun. So if you wanted to try a, uh, a trend at the moment, these are also fun to try. Okay guys, those are just some of my current spring, summer favorites, really more spring, not summer, but these will carry into summer as well. But these are just some of my favorite shoes and sandals, some staples if you're looking to, to buy some, some spring shoe staples. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will stop rambling on. I'm hungry, I gotta go eat. Uh, but thank you so much for tuning in and watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed. All of these shoes are gonna be linked down below. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks again so much for watching. Don't forget to like, thumbs up this video, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you here again real soon. Bye.